It is springtime, and let us take a look today at making some birdhouses for... Pardon? Um... Star Wars Day, what? Oh... Right. This is going to take a little bit of extra thought. Let's take a moment and walk through my plans. Here is the basic plan of the birdhouse that I was going to build. The challenge is to now turn this into a Star Wars project. I've decided to try and make an X-Wing birdhouse, or at least a birdhouse that bears a resemblance to an X-Wing. A Google image search will give you thousands of different X-Wing images to work from. I'm afraid of the Disney lawyers, so I'm not showing any here. There are a few critical dimensions that can't change. The size of the floor, the size of the opening, and the height of the opening above the floor, these all vary by bird species. I'm designing for a Carolina Wren. You can easily find dimensions online for a bird that is native to your area. I'm going to keep the front of the birdhouse pretty much the same. In that way I preserve these all important dimensions. I do still want this to be an actual useful birdhouse. So first, let's take the back of the birdhouse and slide it up five or six inches. Then let's grab another board and make it into a sort of a wing shape. Okay. This is starting to look vaguely like a flying thing. Now how about a nose cone? Now there are all sorts of weird angles here and I know this is going to be fun, quote unquote, to make in the shop, but let's move on. Next, we'll add some dowels for the engine and the weaponry. And finally, if I'm feeling extra ambitious, I might add some red paint to fancy it up. Yeah, that's looking like an X-Wing. Look, okay, humor me, all right? We're talking about a birdhouse after all. So with the design complete, I can now take the major dimensions off of my SketchUp model. I'll print these three pages of the plans, and I'll take them down into the shop, and we'll get going. I have here a piece of 11 inch wide rough sawn pine that I'm going to use for this project and the beauty is is that you don't need to plane it or join it or anything because the birds actually prefer the rough surface so that they can get a grip with their claws. From my SketchUp plans I know I'm going to use just about three feet which will give me all that I need for the body of the project and alongside of that I'll need maybe a 4x4 four four for cutting out the nose section and some dowels for the engines and the guns and that fun stuff. So that was pretty quick. I'm already ready to start assembly. Now the front of the birdhouse, I want to be removable so that we can clean the nest out at times so I won't be using any glue. Now the nose cone, this is the back side of the plan, for the nose cone is an awkward shape because it's three inches wide where it meets the birdhouse roof and I've got it inch and a half wide up here and I also have it sloping like that so it's going in on three sides plus you want it to match up here. And here I cut actually a different board at 22 and a half degrees.
it's looking pretty cool, but these have got to go. On the original birdhouses, I leave the backboards long. That gives me a nice mounting point on the tree. And that's what I was doing here. I'm thinking, okay, it's a birdhouse, but now that I've actually got it assembled and started painting it, you know, I tried taping it off, but it just, it's got to go. I, uh, I modeled it out in SketchUp, and I think it's going to look a lot better. So we're going to take it over to the bandsaw, and we're going to cut those off. I wasn't sure at first that I even was going to paint it because it's a birdhouse, you know, it's going to be outside. It's going to get uh, weathered, it's going to get wrecked eventually. But my wife is like, you got to paint it. And the more I realized, it's like, yeah, I mean, once you get into it, it's more about the, the fun of creating yourself an X Wing and you got to make it look the best you can. searching online for X-Wings and paint schemes and layouts and all that, he quickly discovered that there are many variations. I think even within the movies they had some slightly different paint schemes that were supposed to indicate like squadron leader and stuff. I don't know. I just saw tons of different ones so I just sort of had to pick something that I thought would work. So the stripe along the nose is pretty consistent and sort of a little L-shaped piece on the, fe on the wing. A little bit of a, a ring around the uh, front of the engine. Now mine is quite tall because I have the box here, so I just continued the stripe along here and a little bit of gray here and there for accent also. Well, that was a lot of fun. What do you think? Yeah, I know, it's kind of goofy looking. But it was a lot of fun doing the paint details and adding a little bit extra to it. And we're going to have fun trying to figure out a place to mount it in the backyard. So I'd like to thank you for stopping by today. If you haven't done so already, please remember to subscribe. And check down in the description. There should be a list of a whole bunch of other woodworkers who have also participated this May the 4th in putting together a woodworking Star Wars project. I don't even know what all the other people are doing, and I'm looking forward to checking out all the other crazy projects myself.